OK, welcome back for another tutorial in Word. This time we're going to create an create an autocomplete to be able to enter in a somewhat substantial block of text with a few simple keystrokes. So to begin with, I'm going to have my text in place and I'm going to highlight my text. Once I have it highlighted, I'm going to go into the options to begin creating my autocomplete. So file. All the way to the bottom again, we will find our options button. On the left in the options window, we are going to go into proofing and then the autocorrect options. Since we have text already highlighted and filled in, we're going to see that it comes in here as formatted text. We could choose to bring it in as plain text, but in this case, I'm going to keep it formatted. My cursor is flashing already in the replace field, and I'm going to create an acronym of my own design to trigger or insert this block of text. I want to stop and think here for a minute and not, not use simple, um, a simple set of letters. I want to create something that's a little bit more complex. So that way I am very, very specifically going to type this, not accidentally, but intentionally to put this piece of information or text blocks in play. So I'm just going to put in here a cap, all caps BIA. I'm going to click add and then I can click OK and click OK again. Now I'm going to close my file, so I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut of control W. It's going to ask me if I want to save these changes or any changes. I'm going to say nope, don't save. And I'm going to do a control N for a new blank document. In all caps, I will now type in my little acronym and tap the space bar, and you can see that that text block has been added by simply typing three letters. You can make as many of these autocorrects or autocompletes as necessary. Also, think about those words that you yourself know how to spell, you know how to type, yet invariably always mistype it. When I have that kind of a situation, I'm going to also create autocompletes to help fix those things as I'm typing. So here again, we're going to go back to the file tab. You can see the options at the bottom. Back into the proofing category. And autocorrect options once again. Now here I can type in a common misspelling. So in my case, I often misspell the word you. I invariably hit the O and P key at the same time, so I end up with Y-O-P-U. And as you can see here, I've already created and made this and added it to my system, so I don't have to do this again. But this is the way that I can kind of help myself be better at just getting my information out of my head and onto my page as I'm typing and I know that these things are common, I'm going to create the fixes for all those common mistakes or errors that I make and therefore just make my life a little easier. In this case, I'm going to go ahead here and just tap the cancel key and I'm going to tap cancel again. Now, if I were to mistype Y O P U and space, you'll see that it does correct it for me. So here again, I want you to think about making as many of these as necessary to help you be able to work efficiently. All right, well, thank you again for your time. I hope you have a great day. Take care.